hello students today in this session we are going to understand again you know the application of vbt that is valence bond theory in the compound or complex whose coordination number is 5 okay last session if you remember we have discussed the application of vbt in coordination number 4 such complexes now the next thing here we have to understand is the complexes whose coordination number coordination number is 5 okay compound with coordination number 5 okay for example you see we have a molecule like fe co5 this is the complex we have fe co5 we need to find out the dipole moment of this molecule dipole moment then we need to find out hybridization of this molecule central atom hybridization and we also need to find out the geometry of this molecule right so for all this geometry or hybridization we have to apply valence bond theory into it correct valence bond theory so first of all you see we need to understand here we need to understand the bonding of this ligand and metal and for that first of all we calculate or we'll find out the oxidation number of iron here in this complex since the co is a neutral molecule so oxidation number of iron is zero okay so iron has 26 electron the atomic number is 26 26 electron and its electronic configuration is argon which is 18 4s2 3d6 4s2 3d6 oxidation state is zero so if i write down the orbital diagram okay orbital diagram of this this is 3d 1 2 3 4 this is 4s and this one is 4p okay in this 3d we have six electron so 1 2 3 4 5 and one pairing six electron 4s has two electron in this right another important thing we should know that this co is a strong ligand we know this thing that co is a strong ligand correct and we know in, in case of strong ligand the pairing of electron takes place against the hans rule okay so what happens here you see this electron pair this two electron jumps into this inner d orbital this electron also comes over here and pairing of electron takes place against the hans rule okay so in pairing of electron takes place what happens we'll have this kind of orbital diagram
and in this the distribution of electron we have like this pair of electron here pair of electron here and a pair of electron here this orbital is empty this is 3d this is 4s and this is 4p okay now coordination number is 5 so we need 5 atomic orbital which forms hybrid orbital correct so this is 1d 1s and 3p this 5 orbital combines atomic orbital combines and it forms five hybrid orbitals okay these are five dsp3 hybridized hybrid orbitals okay in this orbital only electron or sorry ligand donates its bond pair of electron and forms bond okay so first of all the answer for this question the answer for this question which is the first one we have is uh, you know the dipole moment dipole moment will be zero because all the electrons are paired okay all the electrons are paired hybridization we have already done and that is dsp3 hybridization we have okay and its uh, geometry will be with dsp2 hybridization geometry will be trigonal by pyramidal which is t b p trigonal by pyramidal correct so these are the three information we wanted to find out which we have done according to vvt valence bond theory okay another question you see another question we have here is the complex is this ni cn5 and here we have three minus this complex the information given is what this complex is diamagnetic diamagnetic with two different different ni cn bond length with two different ni cn bond length out of which out of which four bond lengths four bond lengths are same and one is different four bond lengths same and one is different we need to find out the hybridization and geometry hybridization and geometry of this so you see how do we do this again you see the coordination number is five and the information we have here the first information is what that this cn minus is a strong ligand strong ligand okay and the oxidation state of nickel in this complex you can easily find out is plus two because it is negatively charged ligand so this is plus two on this nickel okay we know the atomic number of nickel is 28 correct so 28 this becomes argon 4s2 3d 8 okay argon 4s2 3d8 but the ions the but the metal has we have ni2 plus ion so configuration of ni2 plus is what two electrons comes out from the outermost shell which is nothing but 4s so it becomes 4s0 3d8 now when we draw the orbital diagram of this it will be 3s 4s 
and this one is for P. Three S has eight electron, eight electron. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 4s has 0, 4p has 0. Again, this Cn minus is a strong ligand. So this electron jumps over here. Okay. And it forms. And it forms orbital diagram, which has this number of electron. And the arrangement of electron we can show like this. We have 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. And here you see this orbital goes under hybridization. Same thing we have. And we get 5 dsp2 hybridized hybrid orbital. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. dsp2 hybridized hybrid orbital. Correct. In which the ligand donates electron and forms bond. Okay. So first of all, you see DSP2 hybridization. There are two kinds of geometry we have. One is trigonal by pyramidal. So if you look at the, if you look at the structure here, trigonal by pyramidal is, and other one is square pyramidal. Okay. So trigonal bipyramidal means what? We'll have metal here, right? First of all, I'll draw this one, metal here, ligand, 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 ligand. And one ligand will be on the top like this. So all these are bonded with the metal. This is square pyramidal, OK? Trigonal bipyramidal, you see. has this kind of structure we'll have a triangle okay we'll have a triangle and on this from the top we'll have one ligand from the bottom we'll have another ligand all these corners we have ligand present and metal we have here at the center of this triangle okay so this is structure is this structure is trigonal bipyramidal and this structure is a square pyramidal. Square pyramidal. Correct. So you see here, the information given here is with different NiCN bond length, out of which four bond lengths are same and one is different. So you see in this trigonal bipyramidal structure, there are you know three bond lengths which are same. These are these bonds. These bonds are same, three bond lengths are same, and two bond lengths are different here. But here, this four bond length are same, but one is different. So a structure or geometry for this molecule will be hybridization is DSP2, and geometry will be square pyramidal according to the given data in the question. Okay. The two possible geometry we have with this hybridization, DSP3, it's not two, it's three here. Uh, change this over here. It is DSP3, not two. Okay, five orbital we have now, DSP3. So DSP3 hybridization, there are two geometry possible, PBP and square pyramidal. According to the given data, square by pyramidal is the correct one. Okay, so this is, we have two examples we have discussed with coordination number five. Now, next we are moving into coordination number six. Okay. So the next thing we have to discuss is for the coordination number six. Okay. So for the complex having coordination number six, how do we do this type of questions? Okay. The question is, the question is, first of all, we'll see a few things into this and then we'll move to the question. 
you see here there are uh, two types of uh, hybridization possible okay first of all this coordination number is uh, the most common coordination number most common and most important type of coordination number okay generally two types of hybridization possible in this kind of coordination number the one type is sp3 d2 other is d2 sp3 the geometry is always octahedral or square by pyramidal sp3 d2 means the complex is high spin complex complex is high spin complex and d2 sp3 means the complex is a low spin complex high spin and low spin complex high spin complex why we are calling it as because the outer d orbital outer d orbital takes part in it takes part in hybridization okay lower d spin complex because the inner d orbital is taking part okay inner d orbital is taking part okay so whatever the uh, you know complex we have whether it is high or low the geometry is always a square by pyramidal square by pyramidal or octahedral okay that's what we should know now the first question in this you see the first question is the complex is given which is co nh3 6 3 minus right we need to find out the magnetic property of this complex magnetic property we need to find out hybridization we need to find out geometry of this molecule okay so first of all what we do we'll try to find out the nature of the ligand so nh3 is a strong ligand nitrogen atom donor donor strong ligand okay oxidation state of cobalt is plus 3 okay oxidation state of cobalt is plus 3 correct so now the electronic configuration of cobalt if we draw cobalt has 27 electrons atomic number is 27 so argon 4s2 3d7 right 1 2 3 4 and 5 3d orbital is this this is 4s and this is 4p this one is 3d this one is 4s and this one is 4p 3d has how many electrons to understand that if i write down because the metal is in plus 3 oxidation state so for co plus 3 the electronic configuration will be argon 4s0 3d6 okay so if this configuration we need to draw so there are six electrons and since the ligand is strong here so we can pair up the electrons against the Hund rule, Hund's rule directly which is nothing but two four six 
two we have inner d orbital one s and three p so this orbital goes under hybridization and it forms six different hybrid hybridized hybridized orbital this is d2 sp3 hybridized orbital where the ligands donate electron and forms bond correct so to write down the answer of this question you see first of all all the electrons are paired so it is diamagnetic okay hybridization is d2 sp3 geometry is what octahedral or a square by pyramid since inner d orbital is involved it is low spin complex so any of these questions they may ask you regarding the uh, no, low spin or high spin complex geometry hybridization or magnetic behavior okay one more example we'll see here suppose the molecule is fef6 molecule is fef6 and here we have 3 minus we need to find out again the hybridization of this we need to find out hybridization we need to find out geometry we need to find out magnetic behavior now for this molecule you see first of all halide ion all halide ions whether it is chlorine bromine whatever it is all halide ions are weak ligand so first of all we'll write the nature of ligand f minus is a weak ligand okay oxidation state of ion which is plus 3 in this molecule here it is plus 3 now we know the atomic number of ion which is 26 and the configuration is argon 4s2 3d6 so the electronic configuration of fe plus 3 will be argon 4s0 3d5 okay orbital diagram if i take suppose it is 3d 1 2 and 5 this is 4s and this is 4p so this one 3d has five electrons so 1 2 3 4 5 since the ligand is weak there is no rearrangement against the hans rule okay and we have one more thing that we have 4d orbital also vacant here in this state right we need six vacant atomic orbitals so that is 14s 34p and 24d okay so this six atomic orbital goes into hybridization at forms sp3 d2 hybridized hybrid orbital okay six sp3 d2 hybridized hybrid orbital so the hybridization hybridization of this complex is sp3 d2 magnetic behavior electrons are unpaired so it is paramagnetic geometry is again octahedral 
since outer d orbital involved so it is high spin complex high spin complex okay so this is how we find out hybridization geometry and magnetic behavior of these complexes okay you need to know the oxidation state of the metal and for that you require the charge on the ligand okay and the nature of the ligand nature means whether it is weak or strong you must keep this in mind h2o is a weak ligand all halide ions are a weak ligand generally in general when carbon and nitrogen atom are the donor atom of ligand then the ligand is a strong ligand in general but there are few exceptions again but in general whenever the carbon and nitrogen atom are the donor atoms present in the ligand the ligands are considered to be strong ligand okay so this is how we find out the uh, hybridization and geometry of these complexes so this is one theory that we have discussed that is valence bond theory of the complexes the next theory we have to understand is crystal field theory that we'll discuss next class thank you very much